Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we will talk about how to use iterator directive to render a list on the lightning web components. The only difference between using an iterator directive or a for each directive is that iterator directive gives you two additional properties called first and last and using these properties you can give or you can assign special behavior to the first item of the list and to the last item of the list. So in order to use an iterator you have to use something like this in the in the template tag. So in the template tag you will say template iterator colon iterator name let's say iterator name is it is equals to let's say the list that we want to iterate over is contact so this is how you say it and then you're going to go ahead and say it dot of value and then let's say name will give you the name property of the contacts okay for that individual contact if you want to access the id then you will say dot id so this is how you access the value for the item in the list Index will give you the index of the item in the list. As I mentioned, first means it will tell you that if that particular item is the first item or it's not. Last, it will tell you if that it's going to return you a boolean value indicating whether this item in the, is the last item in the list or not. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use the iterator via example. So we'll go back to our Visual Studio. Go back here. And inside of this one, I have already created my uh, contacts here. This is the properties that uh, this is the list of contacts that I have. And inside of this, let's get rid of all this. And I'll say template iterator colon it. That's the name of my iterator. And I'm going to iterate over the list of contacts that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and pass my list. And the key would be equals to it that's the iterator name dot value dot id and uh, inside of my list i will check okay i'll check if i'll add a div tag here and i'll say if true if it is the first item okay that means if it's the first item in the of the list i wanted to add a css to it or styling to it and I'll call it as list first and I'll create a CSS file in a minute and then here I'm going to close this div tag. So if it's the first item then I wanted to add special styling to it and then I will display it dot of value dot of name comma the same thing the title okay so I did it earlier also comma it dot of value dot title. Next thing is I also wanted to check div if true and I wanted to check if it is the last item it dot of last this will return me true if it's the last item I wanted to add additional styling and uh, the styling will come from CSS file that I will create in a minute list dash last now let's go ahead and add these CSS files so I'll go ahead and create a new under hello for each, I'll create a new file and I'll call it as hello for each dot CSS. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and provide my CSS files here, the description here. And I'll say the first one I have is list dash force. And then this will have border top would be five pixel. It would be solid and it would be red in color and the padding on the top side would be of 5 pixel okay so this is the first class that I have described the CSS and now the next one is for the list of last item for that one I wanted to give a border at the bottom that will be 5 pixel it will be solid in color and it will be yellow and then the padding that I'm going to add at the bottom is going to be 5 pixel wide. Okay. So this is the additional CSS that I wanted to add for my first item and for my last item. So one would be in red in color, the other one would be in yellow in color. This is how you use iterator to render a list 
using this iterator. This is the name of your iterator. And then in order to access the ID, you will say iterator name. This is iterator name dot value dot ID. And then you'll say if it, you're checking if it is the first item, then you're adding additional styling to it and you're displaying the name which is coming from here. This is the name of the contact and the title of the contact. Similarly, if it's the last contact in the list, then it is going to add additional styling and you're going to display the name and the title. Let's go ahead and push these changes. Now let's go back to our org and add that component. The component has already been added because we did it in the previous. This time it will look a little different because, excuse me, because we have added new so we have the component is already been added because in the previous tutorial the for each one that we did was the component that we have added now you can see here there is a red line on the top because this is the first item and of the bottom one you'll see a yellow line at the bottom because this is for coming from the styling for the first item and only for the last item so let's go ahead and uh, add some more contacts to that list so if i go back here and to my contacts, let me add a couple more contacts here so it will get more clearer. So now let's go ahead and push again. And let's go back to the org and refresh it. You will see two more contacts have been added to the list and uh, the same look and feel but just the first item will have the red line on the top and in the bottom we will go after the last item we are having the yellow line. So what's happening here is this is how let me explain you the code. So what we are doing here is we have created a list of contacts and in that list of contacts we are using the iterator to iterate over this list of contacts. So in order to access individual item of the contact you this is the iterator name it. Okay this is the name of the iterator you can use whatever name you want. And now in order to access the individual properties of the each contact, you will say the iterator name dot value. You have to use the value here dot of that particular property name. Okay. If you want to access ID, if you want to access name of that contact, then you're going to use dot name. If you want to access, let's say the title of that contact, then you will say type dot title. So iterator name dot value dot of whatever the property that you want to access. And now we are using the if true directive. We are checking if that if that it, uh, item is the first item in the list. So this will return you a Boolean value. If it is the first item, then it will return you true. If it is not, other it will return you false. If it is true, then it will add as it will add an additional styling to that item. And then we are displaying the name property as well as the title of that contact okay of that individual contact and then we are checking if that item is last item then in this case if it is the last item it will return you true otherwise it will return you false and if it is the last item you're adding additional styling to it and that styling we have provided in our css file over here which we created and we are saying if it is the last item add a border at the bottom and the padding at the bottom as well and also the color of that should be yellow in color similarly if it's the first item we are adding the border at the top of red in color and the padding at the top would be of five pixels so this is what we have done in our js file we remain we didn't change much all we did is we have described our array or we can say the list of contacts that we have and in our html we are iterating over that list of contacts so this is how you render a list of items in a lightning web component.